This workflow looks at how to use the extensions inside a former and it'll be featuring the Shape Diver tool. So everything here is in beta, but you can add Shape Diver and Test Fit to your former workflows. Down here on the right hand side, we have the Shape Diver for the Twisted Tower tool. Uh, the one on screen already is the, the standard one, which does the Step Tower. This one, I'm just drawing an outline of the footprint of the building. You can add as many points as you want, so you can be very creative with this. You then hit the return to get the command prompt going. You can see it's spinning here, and then it will automatically create a twisty tower for you. This one by default is at 45 degrees. The floor height um, is at 10 meters, but I can drop that down to four for floor to floor. And then the floor count, I want to crank that up to 18 let it run and then I have something of interest. So a pretty cool tool here, very quick. It's also flexible. You've got the tools there to drive the script in the back end, to drive the um, number of floors and the angles, but you can also go back to the vertices of this floor and you can stretch that around. So as you go back and change that original floor plate, you can hit return and it's going to calculate again and give you a whole new shape for your architectural optimistic ziggurat. So from here, of course, with these files, we can take them out of the former environment. We can send them to Revit. So a proposal I've done earlier, uh, we can click on the ellipses and go to Revit and send to Revit. Um, this is the 2024 version of Revit. It will send it through as a generic object. Um, if you haven't seen the 2024 version, the Space Packer tool is on the Massing and Site tab. The model can also be used inside of 3ds Max as an OBJ file. Here we have a, a wood effect base and a, uh, a foam effect. Um, that is Shape Diver in Format.